some white medium on here, and this canvas is wet. So uh, if you don't like it, a lot of times you can just use a brush and blend it right out. But uh, let's go ahead and we can put in where we want them to be at if you have a problem. If you don't, you know, just go ahead and freehand them in with a brush. But let's just go ahead and sketch a few mountains in. Now this is a distant mountain range right here, this one is. So then we'll have some of this closer up. We'll just see what we can come up with. This is all the way across. But we're basically going to use this part right here. Okay. Maybe there's one that let's just fix that. Comes across and down in front of that mountain like that. So this is the back mountain, this is going to be the closer mountain, mid-ground mountain, I guess you could say. Okay. Now this is a big towering one, so I'm going to bring him way up here. And give him a nice peak up here. So he's going to come way up there. down like this. Let's make this one a little taller. See, with sketching, you can just make lines and just remember which lines you're going with and you won't have a problem with them out. See, this one go down like so. Just like that. Maybe there's one right here in front. That, so that little cup is thinner. All right, that looks pretty good. Let's just uh, cut an edge on the, across the end of the blade of the knife, and let's just go right here. Now you don't have to follow your uh, sketch perfectly, but you know if you want to, you can. If you want to use it just for a guideline, then that's fine too. But I'm just pushing this in. different ways you can do it. I'm just putting it in with this and we'll soften it with the... Got to get your color right. All right. Now I'm going to just go right here and start laying in this mountain right here. Like I said, you don't have to use a knife on this if you don't want to. You can use just a brush, any kind of brush, as long as you can get a little, little bit of a line with it while you got it made. Pull that down. I'm going to use this filbert brush. Just pull this out. There, we'll go back and highlight it, put a few little highlights in it, see what all we can do with it. I'm just going to fan this out just in your way. Let's uh, hold my canvas again. Take that brush that I had before and just create some mist down at the bottom. Get that started. Now, okay, now then, let's uh, wipe the knife off. I'm going to use some of this raw sienna I've got right here. Ain't that a pretty color? Nice color. Get a little bit of this mixture put in with it. That mountain mixture I got going on. Don't destroy that though. We'll need it for some other stuff here in a minute. All right. Let's just put some. Highlights right in here. Maybe there's a. Well, that's not right enough. Is it? Let's put a little white in with it. Oh yeah. Now then. 
maybe that little mountain comes right down through there. Grab a few of these dark ones in the back. We can put a few shadows on it. See there? Just put a few up there. Knife off. Sometimes you can get real quiet doing this stuff. <laughs> Forget where you're at. Happens sometimes. Got a few of that. Let that break. going real nice yeah grab some dark again make maybe like a little crevices and stuff down through there who knows what's all in there all up to you. And that sample you have a cute little mountain. That's just one of them. We got more coming right over here. We get a blender brush here. Well, not blender brush, but my brush I use for blending is a big two inch. I like to use it for stuff like that. I'm just barely touching the canvas right here, just just gently diffusing. There we go. I notice when the mountains get closer, they're going to get darker. The base coat's going to get darker, so we can work with it that way. Okay, let's uh, go ahead and uh, work on this mountains, these other mountains right here. Let's get started on these since we got this one looking real nice right here. Let's let's try this mountain back here, this big one. All right, I'm gonna use this mountain mixture that we've been using, but I'm gonna add a little more brown to it, maybe just a little bit of black. Let's just 
some little points right in here coming down through here. All right, get my brush, my little filbert. We can get in here real easy. Just pull these mountains out. that kind of stand up right there. There we go. Just like so. Let's go ahead. Now what I'm more concerned about is the top edge than I am all this going on down in here. This is a Okay, but you want all this to be better, but it gets a little lighter at the bottom so you can put your mist and stuff in. Alright, let's grab a knife and let's highlight this. Now I've got some color going on, but I'm going to grab a little bit of this white, and it's got a little red in it, it's kind of a pinkish color. Whoops. Then I got a little bit of that mountain mixture in with it just then, which ain't going to hurt a thing. It's not going to hurt it at all. But what I want to do is grab a little bit of blue and mix me up another place over here where I can put a little, this is going to be a little snow on this one where it's going to show a different color. So we want a little bit of that showing. Wipe my knife off. Let's just go ahead and use that color. And the light's coming from this side, so I'm going to start right over here. can bring that down. Now there's no pressure, it's breaking through that, okay? I'm just, you're seeing that base coat under that and all that it is. I do it a couple of times. Sometimes it picks up that color underneath and it, it just blends real nice with it. So we'll put a little bit here. Let's go ahead and start putting some of the highlight. That way we can kind of put everything together. Work on one too long, you lose your vision sometimes on what you're trying to do with the other one. So let's go right up here. A little bit of this. There we go. Grab a little bit more of that white. I think that could be a. I tell you what. What I'm going to do is I'm going to go back here and grab a little bit of this color because I think it would match that other mountain just a little bit better. Grab a little bit of this white here. Okay, let's try that. Oh yeah, I like that a lot better. A lot better. It's kind of a top color. We'll go and put a few little uh, shadow colors in here in just a second and get that looking good. Now this is just a little variation, but the colors uh, work well together. So that's what we're going to do is work with it. You can just jiggle this knife around and get it to do all kinds of neat little things. 